Welcome back to Cardades.org. Today we're going to be looking at objections to the column cosmological argument for the existence of God. In this video, we're going to be looking at objections to premise one of the argument. So, if you don't remember, premise one is everything that begins to exist as a cause of its existence. This is also known as the principle of causation, the principle of causality, the principle of sufficient reason, and so on and so forth. Any good cosmological argument has some version of this principle at its heart. According to William Lane Craig, this is an intuition that no one seriously denies. But, as we saw in our last series of objections to Thomas Aquinas' cosmological argument, it seems that this principle has only methodological utility and lacks ontological justification. What that means is basically that, sure, it's a useful principle that seems to get us a lot of things in science, perhaps, but it doesn't actually have anything that justifies it, that sustains it. It's just something that gets us nice, pretty useful things. Craig himself has admitted that it's an empirical generalization that does rest on scientific principles. Basically, that means that if we can doubt scientific principles, as, through some of my other videos, you should see that we can, we should be able to doubt this principle as well. But, as both of those arguments have already been made, I'm going to step forward and do a different argument against this specific principle. This argument actually comes from science, specifically from quantum physics. This is the idea that electrons can go out of existence without a cause, Electrons can also come into existence with no cause. So it seems that at the quantum level, traditional cause and effect seem to break down. And if everything's made up of quantum particles, it seems one way or another that everything breaks down when you get small enough in terms of cause and effect. The response that's been given by Craig and others to this is that just because we're not sure what the cause and effect are doesn't mean that there isn't one. Just because the Heisenberg uncertainty principle tells us that we can't know both an electron's position and velocity at any given time doesn't mean that the electron doesn't have a position and velocity at any given time. Simply because we cannot know the cause doesn't mean that there is not one. It's the difference between epistemology, whether or not you can know, and metaphysics, whether or not something actually is. However, this does open the door for the possibility that there is not a cause, which is all you need to start getting into the cracks of breaking down the idea of this causal principle. That was objections to the first premise. Next up, we're going to take a look at objections to the premise the universe began to exist, and then the rest of the argument. Watch this video and more at cardiades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.